like, because there's a dating process there for a while. Like, you want to know, okay, what yeah, do you like? To that's eat? the whole point of it. Yeah, and, and then you kind of test your water. So you're like, let me put on some three six mafia just and just give her a side. Of <laughs> if she over there, <laughs> she's trying to sneak yeah, it just, in. <laughs> And, all right, and then you know what he said? If she's just texting the whole time, like, yeah, but she might could, not work out. But imagine you turn it on and she go like, I bet you won't hit him. I'm in that table. <laughs> I'm going turn it up with you. And then I'm like, all right, you know what? Hey, babe, you, you picked me up tonight. You know, I drove last time you picked me up. So I'm sitting there. Let's see what she's going to put on. <laughs> yeah. Half on a sack. On some <laughs> yeah. Half on. I'm going to turn up with you. Now I yeah. know we good. As long as we got that in common. Yeah. Hell, even if you put on like some some Metallica, some Inner Sandman. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, we riding. Yeah, we riding. absolutely. Hey, dash off. I can talk my ass off. Hey, smoke you what you seen and I'll tell you what I saw. Hollywood, what you think and I'll tell you what I thought. And we can talk about it all when we here on Trash Talk. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another episode of the Trash Talkers Podcast. We made it. We made it. Yeah, we did. What's up, broski? Oh, everything. You know, just been watching a lot of football and stuff. Did That's e- about it. Did e- cause, so, Smokey has two teams. He's like He likes, of course, we both like the Falcons. Mm-hmm. And his secondary team is the Buffalo Bills. Yeah. My secondary team is the Pittsburgh Steelers. Buffalo Bills are out. Falcons are out. Steelers are out. Actually, I mean, we're going to have to give a peek behind the curtain. Oh, hell. As of the time of this recording, the Bills haven't played yet. Oh, well, damn. See, that shows you how much, <laughs> why he's the football guy. Link in the description if y'all want to check out his yeah. football podcast. Nah, but what's, uh, what's been going on new with me? Um, uh, hmm. What has been? Just a lot of work, man. Just yeah. work and work and work. And yeah, that's what you do when you're adulting. You just work. You work, you pay taxes, and you die. Yep. That's it. But yeah. you try to make the best of your life while you're doing these things. Try not to let it consume you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, because we all know those people who are like, bill, or we don't know them personally, but we know of billionaires. Those people don't do anything but work. Unless they inherited, if it's old money. But if it's new money, those people do nothing. I was actually watching this thing about um, some YouTubers that were actually quitting. Like, there's there's a few really big YouTubers that have quit over the past couple of weeks. Wow. They just get tired of doing nothing but YouTube. YouTube? And it's, you know, it's the people like like we do. We work every, every single day. week doing this. Every yeah. day. <laughs> and, but... You know, they they'll it'll be people that upload like one video a week, but they do Man. so much production that it takes the entire time to put that, that they are video. off to put it together. See, yeah. and again, I'm not trying to toot our own horns here, but it takes a lot of work to for what we do to put out. Like we put out a video every day, sometimes two videos a day, mm-hmm. sometimes three videos a day, and it may seem like like. I can understand from the a person just looking at their phone, like, oh, there's a new video. Let me click on it, mm-hmm. and it's just as for it's easy for the consumer to just hit click and watch. Yeah. But y'all gotta understand, man. We gotta get levels right on the microphone. We gotta make sure the lighting is good with the camera. You gotta mm-hmm. make sure the green screen's right. You gotta make sure the song is right. Then you gotta edit that. Then mm-hmm. it's a lot of work that goes into doing it. So I can understand how some people are like, listen, dude, I am burnt. Yeah, I am burnt out. It happens. It happens over time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You want to burp right now so bad? Don't yes, you? I was trying to hold it in. Let it out. Come uh, on, come I, on. I've already pushed it back pushed down. It now okay. it'll I, come out in a minute. I can tell when Smokey wants to burp because he'll go like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trying not to just be like, yeah. right on camera. Go ahead. What were you we right into the mic? But everybody who does a job that they don't like get burnt gets burned out quickly, right? But I like what we do here. Yeah, absolutely. Huh. And that's the thing. You can do this. Like, one of the guys that quit, he was doing this for 10 years. I mean, you got to love something that consumes you every single day. You have to love that job, right? Yeah. But even that, if you do it for long enough, eventually you're going to like, well, I, I just want to retire now. <laughs> well, you, it takes time and work. And, mm-hmm. and, and again, the, I don't know how necessarily true the statement is of if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. Because like you said, you knew a, a, there was a guy yeah. that worked for 10 years and mm-hmm. he loved it. And at one point he was just like, okay, all right. Yeah, like that's enough. And, you know, content creation. Like at some point you're like, all of my ideas have been done. Yeah. But, <laughs> like, but if you take some time off, You'll get a whole bunch of new ideas. What are, are you, you? Are you trying back. to say you need a a, a vacation? Is that what oh, you're trying no. to say to me right now? No, I am scraped, bro. Okay. All right. 
But no, y'all, we got an interesting topic today. Today is, the t- today's topic is, does your partner, does your significant other have to enjoy the same music that you enjoy to be together? You got dang right. I control the radio. If y'all don't like this song, then get a step in. Yeah, but what if she? What if she's driving? Well, I'm gonna take that. And lady. she's gonna say the same thing. <laughs> I take I, I control this day. I'm driving. <laughs> yeah. You know the rules. If you driving, that's your radio. Yeah. I'm playing though. Like, nah. It ain't that big a deal to me. I know it's divisive for a lot of people. Oh, you know what? I learned a new word. Thanks to Krista Spetz in a uh, oh, a Lord. video that she shared on social media. Krista, why would you do such a thing? Smokey. I learned a new word. It's mm-hmm. called a polyjamorous. When you can jam Every genre of music. Actually, I knew that word. Did you? I knew that word, actually. Polyjamorous. Mm. But I don't think that's... I think that's one of those, like... That's a social media word. Yeah, I think that's one yeah. of those, like... I have I've, I've heard that before, actually. So, shout out to Krista for teaching my dog a new word. <laughs> but, <laughs> you see, you do you do that, though. Like, no, I if I bring know, up something, like, I already knew that. Well, no, if it's something, like, you you brought up words where I'm like, dude, ain't nobody using that. Yeah, but I true. have heard polyjamorous. Okay. I, ha- I mean... You know, I read. I know you comments. all over the social media. No, in the comments, I've seen it. I think Crystal might have been the one that Probably. told me. Yeah. <laughs> might have been the one. That, anyway, we ain't finna talk about <laughs> college jammers. But yes, I mean, <laughs> that's funny though. It is hilarious. That is hilarious. <laughs> but okay, do, does my partner have to ha- have the same music taste as I do? I'm gonna say yes and no. Mm. No, I'm gonna say no because. One of the first songs, I mean, there's, I've said this about many songs, but like, I, like in high school, I hung out with all, I didn't have a, a group of people that I hung out with. I hung out with the goths, I hung out with the jocks, I hung out with the, 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 the hood, you know, I hung out with everybody because mm-hmm. I, I was accepted everywhere. I was called a chameleon, but I remember getting a ride home. I might've been like in the 10th grade and I was with the goths. I shout out to Kat and shout out to her boyfriend, Seth. I don't know if they're still together or not, but uh, that song, Cry Little Sister mm-hmm. Thou. And in my head, I'm like, dude, this is fire, man. Yeah, is. And I tried to go home. I couldn't. Re- I, all, and this was before the Google YouTube days where you could just type in four words and the song would pop up. Because mm-hmm. I'm like, I want to sample the Thou Shall Not. Couldn't find it. But so if my partner knows good songs and mm-hmm. it's like, they might turn you on to something. That's what they did. They turned yeah. they turned me on to something. Yeah, absolutely. That's a good aspect to have. And I don't think it's a good idea to be so closed off, yeah, closed-minded, closed-minded about yeah. music in the first place. I mean, if we were we were still kind of closed-minded, this we wouldn't would be not doing exist. what we're doing right this now. This channel would not exist. Yeah, exactly. But that's what again, that goes back to the people, you know, quitting being content creators because we actually enjoy learning new music. <laughs> yeah. You know, we yeah. enjoy music. But now that's the no. But the yes part is like, okay, okay. Like, if we're having a few drinks, you know, we chilling. You know, we we, we at the house. We're we're taking. We're we're enjoying ourselves. Like, I can't listen to rap on. I'm gonna just say it. I can't listen to rap on mushrooms. I can't. Okay. okay. So, but if I'm with a chick and that's all she, I don't want to hear NBA young boy spin the block seventeen times no. while I'm sitting here trying to Who find. Would? That's what I'm saying. But so it's so if we're if you're gonna be with me, it's like look, man, we're gonna have to put on some Grateful Dead, some Pink Floyd, some Tool, some you know. If we're gonna, it just depends on the environment. Like if we're riding in the car, sure we can jam that all day. Mm-hmm. If we're at the club, we can jam it all day. But if we're just at the house chilling. In a in a altered state of mind where we're just just relaxing, I ain't trying to hear big booty hole. I don't want to hear that, man. I want to I want to feel enlightened. That yeah. does that make sense? No, I get it. Yeah. yeah no, absolutely. I get it. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Like for certain instances. Yeah, I get it. But like, I was trying to think of a genre that would drive me insane. Like country. Uh, well, country. yeah, I can't do it. Yeah, pop country. Yeah, I mean, it, like I can handle if you put on some like outlaw country where they're 
talking about, you know, like some Johnny doing Cash. substances. Yeah. <laughs> doing substances, fighting, whatever. You know, that's a little more up my alley. Like, I can get into that. But how many times are we going to talk about your do- dead dog and how exactly. how many four-wheel drives you, you Yeah. Got? Or about the, the woman that left you last 25 year. times. <laughs> yeah. And why you keep going back to her? Because if, you, if you're playing, like, country on the radio, every song is going to be about my broken heart, you know? And you know what? We're, we're, we might be narrow-minded here. We might be narrow-minded because we just might have been yeah. exposed to that type of country. Yeah. Maybe there is some new pop punk uh, punk tree. Some new <laughs> pop. Well, punk. there is. There's there's a uh, trap country yeah. out there. <laughs> like Lil Nas X. I got the horses in the yeah. back. I'm yeah. sorry. This song the is entire hard. World. Like I don't care how many people say that's cringy now. That song. Was the crazy. entire world was into that yes. song. Yes. And it, to me, that's one of my favorite songs. The Jam Screwed and Trap. I don't care about. I don't care about people's personal antics. What they do. I just like good music. When B. When uh, Billy Ray Cyrus shows up on the BET Awards. That is, you know the whole world was into that song. A hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, there's some of it. Like, like just pop in general. Like, there's a lot of good pop songs out there, regardless if the metal heads and whoever doesn't want to admit that. Like, or, or the rap heads, you know, the people who are into more hardcore music. Like, you know you hear a song in passing sometimes. You're like, I don't know. I like this. See, I don't want to tell anybody, but I like this. <laughs> Blowing in the wind, it's an anti, and yeah. the pin and the snake, it, it's verbatim. <laughs> see, like that's. I see. This is kind of where me and you differ a little bit. I don't. Like, I don't care what people think about me. I don't care. Oh, everybody does. No, it wouldn't. No, that's not true. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I will play that verbatim song mm-hmm. in front of anyone. Yeah, well, that's part of your personality. Would you? Let's say you enjoyed that song. Would you play that song in front of anyone? If I enjoyed it, yeah. Okay. So if it was a song, if it was a song against everything you believed in, like, but it was hard. It was a hard song. It was. You saying it, if it was against everything? Every. I believed in? We're talking uh, food, drink, sexuality. Uh, if, if it was the opposite of what your life was, but you're like, God, oh, this song. This oh, song's hard. yeah, I've heard plenty of songs like that. But before. would you play it in front of your friends out in the open? Uh, yeah, if it was something I was into, yeah. I mean, there's there's been times where I've been, dude, this is a personal story. I've been in a group being the only white dude there, and all of them into hardcore rap, right? Okay. You know, what was hitting at the time, Master P and Cash Money and all this. And I played Insane Clown Posse for them fools. Oh, they all look at you. Like, but see, no, bro. Well, hold on. See, this is a little different because that's... They're like, they're like well, show me some of that white boy rap. But and that's I was still like, rap. Yeah. Would you play "Blowing in the Wind" as an ad to y'all defending this? It naked? depends on the crowd because. So you, but that's the thing. You wouldn't do it in front of anyone. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to turn a hostile crowd. I would I, if I enjoy it, and you in my car, and you're my partner. But this, it's a matter of respect, though. I want to hear. <laughs> what like, you say? What did you anyone. say? What was your first sentence? If I'm driving, <laughs> I'm controlling <laughs> yeah. the radio. We go here. Yeah. Yeah. I will women's underwear. And see, like right now, you're you're not comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with putting it. I just, you know, he can do what he wants to do. I just go with the song, and then I go to strike a pose in my full leaf mirror. Yeah, what defines a straight man straight is that the boxer of the beefs or a. What do you say? 12, 12 ounce. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I love that song, dude. Yeah, I get it. You like it. You, know, you mess with what you mess with. Right. Now, okay, now here's the thing. If my partner, again, there is a respect thing that comes of all, it comes around with it. If my partner's like, listen, I get that you like this song. Like, yeah, see, you just admit it too. Like, I, you know, I don't want them to play, uh, what'd you say, country? Well, I'm okay. Like the pop but country or whatever. Do, can we switch it up just a little bit? Like that, I, I'm okay if you play it because yeah. if if you got the steering wheel, sure, that's the rules of the car. You play what you want to play. But do we have to listen to who's the biggest country? Keith, um, Dean, I mean Keith Jardine. Dean, it was a Dean, Jason, Aldean. Jason Aldean. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. We can hear the album one time. This is the 14th time we didn't heard this song. Can we please <laughs> yeah. switch up something? Yeah. And when I ride with you, I'm like. Well, every single time I get in this truck, that song is playing. You're, it's I like, ask, all right, I was intrigued the first time. I'm like, let me see what it sounds like. And then the second time, I'm like, oh, you're playing that song? Okay. All right. Third time, I'm like, 
How, many, how often do you listen to this song? Now, now, Every now, single time that song is on. Now it just makes me to want, want to come just pick you up now and yeah. just play it. Just, <laughs> yeah. It's my car, my radio. But no, I get it, man. It, it's a it, 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 there is a respect thing there, and is. I think if when we say partner or significant other, music is such a vital thing in our lives. Mm -hmm. Like I listen to music when I'm cooking dinner. I listen to music when I'm cleaning. I listen to music when I'm driving. Mm -hmm. So it's like if my partner, it's like okay, if my partner's not okay with me with how, excuse me, if my partner's not okay with how I clean and I clean my house once a week, Mm -hmm. okay, then there'll be a problem with that. And some people might take that as arrogance. It's like. Like, when you come to the studio, what's the first thing you do at the, at the door? Take my shoes off. Some people might be like, look, bro. That's what I do in my house, too. So, so we rock there. Yeah. Now, what about someone who don't doesn't take their shoes off when they're in the house? Well, you got to have respect for someone else's house and do what they, everybody's got their own rituals. And like then you do what they do. So then, then again, that person would. But probably. you said, I don't care what other people think. I don't. When it comes right, to, so you just going to walk into somebody's no, house? No, when it comes to music. On? When it comes to music, I, I if it's a song that I enjoy, so I don't. So you do care what other people think sometimes. Yes, but okay. when it comes to music, mm-hmm. I don't care what people think. I'm gonna play what I want to play. I want to yeah. play what I want to uh, play. You know what I said last week that we as music junkies, like we are on this channel, <laughs> Damn, with we the need tribe, to go to rehab, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, uh, definitely. This is kind. Of, well, I guess this ain't like rehab because we no, just we're doing we're it more. consuming. This is the trap. <laughs> this is the back. This alley. is the trap. <laughs> yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> We come here to get our fix. <laughs> but, you know, we, as music junkies, we we make our image off of this the type of music that we like. And, you know, it happens so much in high school because it, you pick a genre and that's your social class. Your social class is based on the genre of music you listen to. So then what would you say about me then? Because I would say 85% of the music I listened to was rap back then, but mm-hmm. I hung out with everybody. Well... When you say you hung out with everybody, I mean you were you were friendly. Oh to no, all the dude! People. I've spent nights. I mean, like I had friends that I would spend the nights. Because everybody house. likes when they get older. Everybody likes to say, "Oh, I hung out with everybody." Everybody says that, bro. I could... and you know, back in high school, you saw the people. Not everybody was just hanging out with everybody. No, I, I, bro, I promise the you, the jocks wasn't hanging out with the nerds like they I, all claim now. Well, no, no, no. I, but so then, what was I? Was I a nerd? Was I a jock? I was, I was the popular kid, man. So maybe the people wanted to hang out with me. Oh, now you're just I, boasting no, your no, ego right no, no, there. No, 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 no. You said your music choice depends on who your social class is, who you hang yeah. out with, right? No, so, your your social class depends on the music. music genre. Okay, yeah. So me, who actually would hang out and go to bowling with the gods, or go to the movies with the nerds, or go play video games with the nerds, and go to the football games with the jocks, and they come to your house and make music, like. What does that say about me? Does that mean... So you absolutely did all that stuff. A hundred percent. I ain't gonna lie. I'm behind I c- a lot. I could call Billy right now, and I promise you he'll he'll say yeah. it. You want me to call Billy? No. Oh. <laughs> it ain't that big a deal. Oh, yeah, it ain't. My bad. But, uh, yeah. Maybe I, I'm I an exception. That everybody does. It. Everybody says it. Like, re- there's a few people that actually did it. Did Very you, few. Did you hang out with any of the, like, the jocks? Did you hang out with the jocks? Mm, not really. Uh, so what would the jocks when you were in high school? What would their music type be? Uh, it was still mostly rap, I guess. Are you, you know saying- you think of you think of jocks being like oh uh, you know whatever the popular <laughs> I know, music that's is. What I was- you know? No, actually, jocks. For some reason, when I hear jocks, the only thing that comes to my head is I get knocked out and I get. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I bet a lot of them did though. Yes. Like the the preppy kids were into that, you know. See. You- which, which the preps and the jocks kind of crossed over, you know, they yeah. would hang out together. But, you know, well, even the goths, when I was in high school, still listen to rap. Like, yeah, they, they listen to Marilyn Manson and White Zombie and all that also, and Corn, but they still listen to rap also. But rap was also... Because you could go to them and talk about Cypress Hill, and I remember uh, one of the gothic kids at school having the, the Ghetto Dope album. <laughs> well, but, but see, at the I time... I borrowed it from her. Lord have mercy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what it is, though, you're talking about a genre that was growing rapidly. 
Mm-hmm. I mean, so of course yeah. those that group of people is going to listen to it. Yeah. Bro, you heard it. I'm body body. Bounce, yeah. bounce, bounce. Yeah. Well, I ain't gonna listen. Make them say, uh. Bro, you got the nerdiest dude with a piece of tape wrapped right behind <laughs> here with a pencil and like seven uh, pins in his pocket. Make him say, uh, while he's doing his homework. <laughs> yeah. It was just a popular thing to, yeah. to check out. I think all classes, uh, we're getting off topic here. Mm-hmm. The partner thing. If your partner hated rap, Mm-hmm. Okay, let's say you were. Let's say you're dating someone, right? Mm-hmm. And let's say it got it got serious. You have never played any music for her. She has never played any music for you. And and yes, I know that's yeah. probably unlikely. Yeah, yeah. But okay, now hey, you know what? She y'all 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 move into a house together, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You come downstairs on a Sunday morning. You hear, oh, I've been sitting on down trying to have me some fun. Going to go <laughs> to the store and get a honey bun. All right, cool. You heard yeah. that. Got that. That's what you're into, yeah. All right, go but then it. now you're downstairs, and she comes down. You're like, I didn't turn this bitch up by yeah. the shoot this old dad. And, and it's she, no problem unless it becomes a problem. When does it become like, a problem? When she says, you can't play that. Then I'm like, this okay. my car. You can't <laughs> exactly. come on, bro. <laughs> nah, like it is like everybody says, there's got to be give and take in a relationship, That's right? True. That's true. You know, so you, you have to accept it even if you don't like it. You know, you, it doesn't have to be 24 seven one side or the other. What about 21 Savage one side or the other? Yeah, I mean, you should probably play 21 Savage at least 23 hours a day. God dang, I'd get tired of it. I would too. (laughs) I'd get tired of it. (laughs) And I like some of his songs, but I'd get tired of it. But go ahead. Go ahead. But yeah, like that's when it becomes an issue is if one side or the other doesn't let in. So then my question is, is can that, can you really call that your partner then? Maybe not. Maybe not. If they, because you want your partner to be accepting of you, right? Even if you disagree on your favorite genre, you still want someone who is somewhat into it see i mean yes you're right dude i mean like like there's settings for things like you know if if you and your girl in bed out and had a few drinks and y'all just cuddling up Mm -hmm. if i want to play bump and grind by r kelly she's like oh wait hold on hold on hold on on. let me finish let me finish let me finish okay let me just say r&b yeah all right let me play some r&b you that's the setting you know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, but let's say th- the playlist just so happens to come on Bump and Grind R&B. I love the song, and she loves the song, but she's like, oh, I don't like the artist. Yeah. Me, me and you were like, you can't separate the yeah, two. Yeah, you like, gotta separate. A lot of people can't do that. We've talked about that before on this I don't think channel. this partner needs to be with me. <laughs> if I can't play music and you just enjoy yeah. it with me, like... Well, that's the thing, too. You gotta find a partner who is accepting of... At least the majority of you. No homo, but I, is that why me and you vibe so well here? Because we polyjamorous. <laughs> polyjamorous. <laughs> That's great. Like really, this would not work. This channel would, would not, not work. work. If you had one person that's just like, no, I hate everything but rap, or I hate everything but metal. Yeah, like it wouldn't work. And we've all seen those people too that they get so specific, like. I, I don't just like metal, like, because Metallica, I don't like that. That's mainstream. They sold out. I like black metal or death metal. And I only like certain kinds of death metal, you know, like, like everything else is just cringy to me. Like, that kind of person would not work in this environment. You have to be willing to expand your horizons Horizon. musically yeah. to do what we do. You're right. That's, mm. but that's, man, if y'all only knew, like, Man, me and Smokey have been through some crap together. We <laughs> yeah. have been through some things, if y'all only knew, stories that we probably will never tell the world. <laughs> yeah. But from going, us doing shows together, us through our bad days, I'm not mm-hmm. going to speak much on it. But for us, it's, I feel like, bro, you know what I feel like? 3-6's last album was mm-hmm. called Last to Walk. Yeah. And it was Last to Walk. Uh-huh. I feel like that's me and you, dude. It's like we had 96,000 people who was in SHI. <laughs> it felt like it, yeah. And me and you were the last two walk. Yep, we're only still two going. <laughs> yeah. What does that say about our bandmates dude, from back in the day? Were they just that narrow-minded? <laughs> well, uh, well, some of them were. Oh, sure. yes, 100%. Yeah, me absolutely. could not. It Look, y'all, can I just give them the story? Oh, we, discriminate? <laughs> discriminate. 
<laughs> Y'all, we made a song. I, I, I wrote a hook, and I was like, all right, the song is, if you want to fight, well, we, we don't, don't discriminate. discriminate. We <laughs> that was had, it. Simple. Simple. If you want to fight, well, we don't discriminate. Meaning, we'll fight yeah. whoever wants to fight. Yeah. We had this dude. Shout out me. That's my dog. Me. Oh, me that dude was, was a great dude. Me was awesome, man. I he would me. fight yeah. anybody any day. <laughs> Him and T Slim them was my dog. Yeah. But me, we were we were in the booth. I mean, I think me, you, Billy, mm-hmm. T Mac might have been. T Mac might have been. I think all yeah. Me, you, Billy, T Mac. Yeah. And, and, and unpredictable. And unpredictable. So yeah. so five of us are in the engineering room. Mm-hmm. And the booth is me. All right, me. Because all of us said the same. We wanted a, a layer of it. If you want to fight, yeah. well, we don't discriminate. It wanted to sound like a like a, a big crowd. chant. Yeah, yeah, a crowd. So we send meat in there. Meat's not the brightest star in the sky. Let's just say that. My dog. But he went in there. And he said every word except for discriminate. If you want to fight, well, we don't participate. No, <laughs> stop. No, wait. If you, uh, all right, I got on this one. If you want to fight, well, we just ain't going to celebrate. <laughs> I, I I had to go in there. All right, me. It's just, I, oh, no, I got you. I got you. If you want to fight, well, we don't prescriptor. Prescriptor <laughs> What does that even mean? Like, I ain't never seen this word before. Prescriptor discriminate discriminate it's that but he finally got it it's he did i think three people left i think one dude took a nap and me and smokey just like bro just say discriminate so we can get it over with but again it goes to the point where it's like somehow those are our dogs they're still Mm -hmm. our folks they're still our friends they're still our the people that we can call and say hey man what's up how you doing how the family how everybody's going but for some reason our partnership had to work Back then and now to do what we do yeah. today and in the future. Yeah. I think we were probably the most broad in our uh, sense of music accord. You know, because there was there was a lot of guys in the group that only wanted to do a certain form of rap and nothing else. And they thought everything else was cringy, right? Kind of like those metalheads I was talking about that only want this certain brand, you know. But we were always like, "Hey, let's do something on a, a, a New York style beat, yeah, you know? Let's yeah. let's do something West Coast this time." Yeah, I mean, we're like that now. When we when we see like up and coming rappers, like we're not gonna say Renz up and coming, but when we we see, uh, see like Oddco and Renz, we're like, yeah. "Man, I want to work with them, dude." Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because know. it is outside of your realm. Did we just become best friends? I think we just become best friends. High five. High five, damn it. Yeah. Man, I don't know, dude. Ultimately, I think if you're... I'm speaking on a a romantic level. I think you you wouldn't be with someone who... Like, because there's a dating process there for a while. Like, you want to know, okay, what do you like to... That's the whole point of it. Yeah, and and then you kind of test your waters. You're like... Let me put on some three six mafia just and just give her a side. I see if she over there. <laughs> she's trying to sneak yeah, it in. <laughs> and, all right, and you know what they say? If she's just texting the whole time, like, yeah, but she might she not work out. But imagine you turn it on and she go like, "I bet you won't hit him. I'm in that table. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it up with you." And then I'm like, "All right, you know what? Hey, babe, you you pick me up tonight. You know, I drove last time. You pick me up. So I'm sitting there. Let's see what she's gonna put on. <laughs> yeah." Half on a sack. On some <laughs> yeah. Half on. I'm going to turn up with you. Now I yeah. know we good. As long as we got that in common. Yeah. Hell, even if you put on like some some Metallica, some Inner Sandman. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, we riding. Yeah, we riding. absolutely. Yeah, just I, I think that's that's the part, partner you look for. Somebody who's open to exploring new genres. Oh, even if so. they don't mess with it already. Yeah. Trash Talkers, you guys let us know what you think. Does your partner have to enjoy your music taste? And do you have to enjoy your partner's music taste in order to make it a real relationship? Mm-hmm. Just curious on what you guys think. Smoke Dog. And want- if you are out there and you've hold on. If you are out there and you've had a long term relationship where you hate each other's music. Oh, let us know how that goes. Yeah, I want to know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. God dang, she makes a mean lasagna, but God, I hate her music. I hate her playlist. <laughs> Bro, we forgot to do the top three comments. Oh, yeah. Let's do that now. All right, so top three comments from the last podcast. We usually do that first. And again, guys, if you want to know some crazy things that happen on your birthday, it's not called what the 
It's called What the Florida. Yes, just leave your birthday just a month in the day, and we'll read the craziest story. But let we normally start out with the top three comments, so I didn't read them from the beginning because we were so excited to hop into mm-hmm. this. So then, um, number three most liked comment from last podcast is from Ryan Smoak two five six four. Now, not a guilty pleasure per se, but I still stand by my love of Green Day. Mm-hmm. Their older stuff slash side projects may be better, but I don't mind. I can't wait for their new album. Uh, yeah, that's how you should be with your favorite artist. Hundred percent. Like I will mess with their new stuff. Ah, right, it's good before I even hear it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Number two most liked comment comes from Bonnie Bennett six eight six six. Shout out Bonnie Bennett or Bonnet or Bonnet Bonnie Bennett or Bonnie Bennett. Let us know how to pronounce mm-hmm. it in the comments. Six eight six six says Smokey. I'd ride with you on lyrics, and I feel like Hollywood is a music guy. So I would. So it would totally make sense that you guys pick different stuff, but can also agree. Mm-hmm. This was my favorite podcast. You guys did it really. You you got. This was my favorite podcast. You guys did it really make me think. Yeah. Smokey, you were thinking about cattle decapitation, what is very much like yes. Ethan Annihilator. Yes, yes, absolutely. But I have to go back and I have to find out the lyrics. But as far as liking music alone, I was a big raver in the 90s, and my guilty pleasure would be techno. God dang it, I'm going to have to ride with body too. Yeah. I was a big raver too. Yeah, I get it. Um, drum and bass from that era, and something called GABA. I know what GABA is, absolutely. Some people say GABA, some people say GABA. Uh, that's definitely chopping up music, adding musical uh, details with deep bass and in that way I don't care that the lyric gets chopped mm-hmm. and the number one most liked comment comes from uh, Patrol, Patrolgan Patrolgan shout out to you Patrolgan or Patrolgan Patrolgan or Patrolgan says my guilty pleasure genre is 90s Eurodance wow mm. it's my youth and I will never let it go no matter how cringy it is and I know it's extremely cringy <laughs> I love art is it like it had a bit of cotton natural I've been married a long time ago where did you come from where did you go where did you come from cotton natural yeah I love artists like DJ Bobo yes it's cheesy as but uh nothing but it's all about fun and having good times. Nothing more, nothing less. And I simply love it to death. Mm-hmm. Those were the top three comments, guys. Leave was your that comment. three or was that two? Hmm? That was only two, wasn't it? It was three. I th- yeah, I did three. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think I did. If not, hell. Trash Talks podcast. We'll get you next Yeah, time. we'll get you next <laughs> time. <laughs> All right, you want to do some WTF? Yeah, let's do some WTF. All right, first one. Again, back to Ryan's, uh, Ryan S- Smoak, 2564. Smokey, what the Florida? Mm-hmm. March 12th. March 12th. Let's see what happened on Ryan Smoak's birthday, March 12th in Florida. All right. Uh, well, there's one that we've already covered in the past. Uh, let's go for this one. And the first one was Baby Cakes, by the way. Oh, baby cakes. Yeah. Oh, uh, Florida man. Aw. Oh. Oh, this is a sad one. Read it. Just Florida it. man arrested after kicking puppy in the face. No. Tells cops he was upset that the dog ate his food at the beach. No. Why? No. It's a puppy, bro. It's a puppy, man. If you're going to leave the food out, of course the puppy going to eat it, man. Yeah. It's a dog. It's what they do. I'm glad you got arrested. Yeah. Do you want to hear a story, or let's find another one? Yeah. Oh, you want to move on to the that next one? That one's sad. Oh, we can, we can see if there's another story. Uh, baby Cakes took over the headline. Oh, yeah. Baby Cakes <laughs> run. Was it March uh... Uh, 12th? March 12th. Uh, this one says, uh, Florida man takes a plea deal in the firebombing of Costa Mesa Planned Parenthood. So, this was not something that actually happened then, but it was uh, reported because of his hearing, I guess. A Florida man pleaded guilty Friday for his part in the firebombing of the Planned Parenthood Clinic in Costa Mesa nearly two years ago. Uh, This is an abortion clinic, right? Hmm? This is an abortion clinic, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Uh, Well, not necessarily. They they cover all. They cover birth control, all kinds of stuff. Okay. All right. Yeah, but... um, uh, he took a plea agreement Tuesday, according to court records. He pleaded guilty in the federal courtroom in Santa Ana to possession of a destructive device and was scheduled to be sentenced on May 15th. Listen, dude, if you have a problem that bad with people planning their parenthood, yeah. you 
You know what? I'm not even going to speak yeah, on it. Yeah, it's, it's divisive. Yeah, I'm not going to speak on it. Okay, you ready for the next one? Yeah. All right, shout out to Kimberly Grimm, 7007. Shout out Kimberly. Kimberly says, my birthday is May 4th. Let's All see right. what what the Florida on your birthday, May 4th, Kimberly Grimm. Yes, not May 5th. Uh, let's see this one. Oh, damn. Florida man is charged with battery after slapping girlfriend with cheeseburger. How many people in Florida fight with food? F- pizza? Food? And mostly pizza. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but we've had at least six or seven stories of people throwing food, food? at other people. What is it? Man. Food. And even spitting food at some people. Shout out to our Floridian. Uh, a Florida man was charged with battery after a, he allegedly slapped his girlfriend in the face with a cheeseburger. Uh, he was arrested on May. What the? What are we doing <laughs> at this point, dude? Um, uh, reported that he attacked her while she was sleeping. Oh, that's even messed up. According to the affidavit, he woke her up by slapping her with a cheeseburger, then pulled her hair and kicked her down the stairs. Nah, bro, we you don't have to get these hands. I'm sorry. Yeah. All Come right, on, yeah. man. Let's go to the next one, man. Kimberly, that was your WT. Yeah. This is the, y'all. Trash talkers, we want to know what, what would be the the second Florida. Like, what, what do you? Oh yeah, which state? actually I have heard the Bronx. They yeah. say the craziest people come from all the Bronx and Florida. Uh, yeah, I mean I've heard about that, but uh, there's also Ohio, and this is not a slight at anybody that no, lives in these I've states seen. because it's, there's great people in every, every state, location, yes. and then there's bad people in every. Hell, location. we can do what uh, we'll call it. Uh, Something Atlanta. We can bring up some. Yeah. We got, well, we used to do uh, OMG. Oh, oh my Georgia. Georgia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my Georgia. Yeah, we found a bunch here also. Yes. Okay, last one. You ready? Yeah. Shout out Jessica Lingo, 4346. Jessica Lingo, her birthday is March 21st. 21st. What the Florida for Jessica Lingo on March 21st? All right. Florida man climbs atop playground equipment at Clearwater Park, tells kids where babies are born. I think this is one we might have actually covered years ago Please in our it. first podcast I need to hear this iteration. Again. Run this back. Florida man climbed atop a piece of equipment at Clearwater Beach Playground Sunday and yelled at a bunch of children in the area. His message where babies come from. Uh, police took him uh, into custody on a charge of disorderly conduct. The incident occurred about 3 p.m. Sunday at a park in the area of Pier 60. Officer said, almost said his name, at first was approaching tourists and making inappropriate comments uh, to the women in an effort to get their male partners to confront him. What the? Okay. <clears throat> an officer in the area was watching him at the time. Now, see, I'm sure there's more to this story, but is he yeah. saying... Babies come from storks. I think he probably was upset about something before this whole incident happened. And he was going up to women and making inappropriate comments in an attempt to have a confrontation. You know, because he's, Oh, to start something? Yeah, yeah, with the men. You know, so he was probably like, I'll do your woman this way and that way. And you can't do nothing about it, whatever. So then, I guess, to take it a step farther, he climbs atop the jungle gym and starts yelling at the kids. You want to know how babies are made? How do you think... Blah. You think he says it? The, yeah, I'm, the, I'm pretty sure it was explicit. I mean, but I'm gonna play devil's advocate here, y'all. Just playing devil's advocate. <laughs> if he is, to, if he's saying it, what if he was saying it the scientific way? Like, <laughs> I this is really a, doubt he was. But if he was, is that okay? <laughs> like if he was like, well, chil- <laughs> yeah. well, children. If if you uh, want to know how you were born, a man loves a woman. Yeah. Like if he did it that way, would that be yeah, okay? Yeah. Like you know, your your father and your mother make you, and that's how we are born. You're going to jail just as fast as he is too. <laughs> I, I don't it, know. Well, yeah. I mean, parents are way yes, overprotective. You're going. Days, huh? just as quick as he is yeah i mean we we had other kids telling us all that stuff when i was a kid so you do what we had other kids the kids who were hadn't learned yet were told by the kids who had already learned and then they told other kids yeah oh yeah man being... kids know a lot more than you think oh a hundred percent yeah a hundred percent i just want to say there was something cool about being a kid in the 80s and the 90s man yeah absolutely it's just something it's it just hits different yeah, it makes me feel bad for Gen Z. 
I know they got their own. Yeah, they got their own swag. Yeah, and yeah, don't let's let's yeah. not sound old as crap by saying yeah. it all back in my day. No, they got their own thing. Let I mean, enjoy. Gen X had their own thing. We had our own thing. You know, Gen I mean, Z has their own thing. Our parents, or their grandparents. Yeah. You know, like yeah. everybody, just live life and treat people well. It's that easy. That mm-hmm. easy, guys. Let, you got anything else? No, nah, that's it for today. That's it, guys. This is a great podcast, guys. You let us know. Does it really matter? Or do you prefer that your partner or your loved one or your significant other, do they have to enjoy the same music that you do? Let us know down in the comment section. Also, leave your birthday down in the comment section for next week's podcast, and we'll do What the Florida with your birthday. Also, we'll read the top three comments, depending on how many thumbs up your comment gets. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, my name is Baron Hollywood with six bonds. I am Larry Smokey Ramirez. Cowboy. And we are over and out. Deuces. Yeah. See y'all next week. Be in. Go to bed. <laughs>